are these triangles floating around? I'm crying. Good morning. Oh my goodness, look who's here. Good morning, my love. I'm so happy to see you on here this morning. Good morning, Cam Cam. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Deja. Hi, guys. How are you guys this morning? I'm going to write the scripture down here that I want you guys to memorize this week. Um, so. Y'all, I don't know why triangles are floating all around my face. But it looks kind of cool. But if it's distracting, I will cut it off. Hey. Okay, so we're coming from Psalms. 63 <clears throat> verses 3 through 5 and I'm going to pin that right here good morning buenos dias what's up it's a great day I'm thankful to be with you good morning all right psalm 63 verse 3 through 5 no really take this this triangles off <laughs> whatever I guess it gives me a cool look all right so before i get started i'm gonna have a word of prayer um so if all hearts and minds are clear we can begin to pray before we get into the word Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning first thanking you for waking us up. Lord, thank you for breathing life into our breathless bodies. Lord, thank you for starting us on our way. Thank you for allowing all of our limbs to work. Thank you for this Instagram platform. Thank you for allowing people to wake up and be willing to get in the word with you this morning. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of any sins that we have committed, Lord. We ask that you forgive us of any thoughts that were not pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, I ask that someone is blessed this morning through Instagram Live. I ask that you remove Kalia and you fill me up with the Holy Spirit so that I can bring forth your word this morning to your people, Lord. I ask that you allow someone to meditate on the word daily and not just for today, but throughout their everyday lives, Lord. I pray many blessings over anyone who is under the sound of my voice, Lord, and in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Good morning. All right, y'all. So, let's get started. <clears throat> the scripture that I wanted to read, Psalm 63, verse 3 through 5, it says, because your love is better than life, I will praise you. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. I will be content as if I had eaten the best food. My lips will sing and my mouth will praise you. So the scripture that I wanted to highlight most was I will be content as if I had eaten the best foods. And I'll tell you why. So how many of us have set a goal that has failed miserably or been in a relationship and then we've broken up with that person because we know they weren't really the best for us and we swore to our friends that we were not going back to this boy and if it makes you feel guilty you know you probably obviously shouldn't be doing it but you still went around and messed with him after you told all your friends that you shouldn't have or we set a diet for ourselves but we go in our kitchen and that chocolate cake is calling our name okay i'm guilty i'm guilty to all of the above just saying so um but i know i'm not alone and <clears throat> the point of my word today you can title it if you're taking notes you can say put out the fire of desire good morning dev hi hi buddy good morning guys so put out the fire of desire <clears throat> so we all crave things sometimes that are not really the best for us and it's not what god has for us I'm awake because it's Wake and Worship Wednesday. Where have you been? Every Wednesday, we here. Good morning. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the only way that we can put out the fire of desire is to starve it. So, me, I know I have personal weight goals. I'm trying to lose weight. So, whenever I find myself in the kitchen, like you, you have to force yourself to physically walk away from it. If you find yourself trying to go back to that boy, you have to force yourself to physically walk away from it. What, what could that include? Blocking him on all social media platforms or blocking his phone number, just cut off communication and it will become a habit. Like you're, you're craving it. Our flesh wants the things that are not good for us and we've got to put out that fire. 
We can't feed it because we might just say, I know I've done this and I'm like, you know, just one more time. I just got to talk to him one more time. It's not going to do anything, but that's wrong. That's where I was wrong. It does. It creates that, that desire like, oh my God, I need it. I need him. Got to talk to him. Got to have that cake, you know, uh, and it's not really the best for us. Good morning, cousin. Um, <clears throat> So what I found is with my time, when I am desiring something that I shouldn't, um, fill that void with God's word. Good morning. I love you. Te amo. So um, I encourage all of you to fill that void with the word. So right here in Psalm 63, it says, I will be content as if I had eaten the best foods, saying that I'll be good. I'm going to be good as long as I got God's love with me. Right. Um. I don't need that bad habit. I can put out that fire with God's word, God's love. Good morning. <clears throat> so it really does work. We just have to tell ourselves. It's like the, the word that I gave to you about two weeks ago um, about making a habit of it. So like when we first wake up, the first thing we should do is thank God for waking us up. And it becomes a habit like going to the gym. At first, it's tough to get in there. We know. I'm trying to get in there now and it's really tough but once you start going and you keep going it becomes a habit and you're like I need it gotta have it same with those bad habits we gotta replace it with the word of God a good habit replace it with God's love and make his love a habit in our life um we don't want those bad things to keep controlling us because it will and the more you put fuel into it into the, the fire it's going to keep controlling you and we don't want that type of fire inside of us right so, that's the word for today. Something quick, sweet, and short. Put out that fire of desire. Um, you can pass this message on to a friend. You know I like to keep it up for the next 24 hours, and I'll put it on my Instagram. So, before we go, you can have a word of prayer. Also, if you need prayer on the outside of like live, just message me, slide in my DMs, and we can have a word of prayer together. But for this week, I want you guys to meditate on this verse, Psalm 63, verse 3 through 5. I'm going to read it again because it was so good, okay? Because your love is better than life, I will praise you. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. I will be content as if I had eaten the best foods. My lips will sing and my mouth will praise you. Amen. Okay. All right. Okay, Ari, got you. So now we can have a word of prayer <clears throat> so that you guys can take with you throughout your day. All right. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning again for thanking you for waking us up, Lord. Lord, I pray that someone who is under the sound of my voice will be willing to put out the fire of desire. We know that you want the best for us, Lord. You don't intend for us to keep going back to the things that are truly harmful to us lord i pray that someone under the sound of my voice understands that your love is all we need your love is truly all we need in our everyday lives lord i pray that someone under the sound of my voice will be happy and content with your love i pray that we learn to praise you daily and not just when it's convenient for us but on a day-to-day -day basis lord i pray that we fill those voids of hurt with your love lord I pray that we, we, you, we allow you to make us stronger, Lord. We put out that fire with your love, Lord. And Lord, today I want to pray for Ariana. I want to pray <clears throat> that you help her be equipped to fight. Remind her to put on the full armor of God, Ephesians 6, Lord. Remind her that she has you daily, Lord. Allow her to meditate on Ephesians 6, the full armor of God, because you don't want us to fight these battles, Lord. You are there with us. She is not alone. Remind her that and cover her, Lord. Whatever she needs, please hear her cries and answer her prayers on your timing, God. And we trust you. We love you. We praise you. We honor you, Lord. I pray that anyone other than the sound of my voice just comes to you today, Lord. I pray that we are all blessed as we go through our day. I pray that we have an amazing rest of our week, Lord, meditating on your word. I pray that we really, truly put out that fire of desire and we replace it with the love of God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi. Good morning. 
Yes, put on the full armor of God. Yes, that's what I was just saying. Ephesians 6. I think my very first live, that is what the goal was for everybody to learn, Ephesians 6. And um, Ariana, I'm going to send you a screenshot. It's a little picture. It kind of helps. It helped me to memorize that word as well. So I hope that it helps you because God is there for you, girl. I promise. Good morning. Hi, cousin. I thank God for all the new faces that I'm seeing on my live. I love you guys. And I don't know what happened to the live last week. It kind of deleted before I can put it on YouTube. It wasn't working out. So I'll be sure to make sure that this one saves. Okay. You're welcome. Hi, I love you. I love you. Okay, I'll tell my mom. She's usually on here, but she just left, so she's driving. And I got to go, too, because I got to be to work. All right, love you guys.